It's Saturday, October 26th, and this is Slices of Wenatchee. We've got new episodes out on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, so make sure to follow us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen. Today, there's a new permanent addition to Leavenworth's food scene, Bavarian Bagel Company. And later, a story that shook Waterville, the conviction of a Louis Tulilo for the 2018 murder of his wife, Peggy Tulilo. This week, he was sentenced to nearly 27 years in prison. Before we begin, have you joined Neighbor yet? If not, download the app today and join local conversations about issues that matter. Neighbor is a site just for our local community focused on facts, not misinformation. Best of all, it's free for everyone. To learn more, visit wenatcheworld.com slash n-a-b-u-r. Now our feature story. Bavarian Bagel Company started as a pop-up at farmer's markets and community events, but now has a storefront at 904 Commercial Street in Leavenworth. Owners Taylor and Sidney Lipinski, along with Sage Warden, had a soft opening on September 21st and a grand opening on October 5th. Originally, the shop was open four days a week, but due to high demand, they decided to open every day starting October 14th. Now you can grab a bagel from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Monday through Thursday and from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. on the weekends. During their first full week, they actually sold out of bagels a few times. Their journey began back in April with a pop-up during an Earth Day event. That led to more events, and soon Bavarian Bagel Company became a familiar name around town. They also introduced Bagel Drop Fridays, where customers could order online and pick up bagels at a designated spot. Taylor and Sydney, who also owned Das Sweet Shop in Leavenworth, partnered with Sage, who'd been working for them for six years. Together, they ventured into bagel making despite no prior experience. Taylor joked that their first attempts didn't even look like bagels. They kept at it, renting a commercial kitchen to perfect their craft. The original plan was to keep things as a pop-up for a year, but when a local pretzel shop closed, they decided to grab the storefront. It cost them about $36,000 to buy the business and kitchen equipment, and now they're running Bavarian Bagel Company out of a cozy 600-square-foot space. Most bagels are made in the commercial kitchen, but they bake cookies and other treats in store. Taylor mentioned that while the current space is small, it's a stepping stone. They're aiming to grow into a larger location where locals can socialize, work, or relax. For now, it's grab-and-go, but they're optimistic about the future. The menu includes bagel sandwiches, like the Summit Breakfast Bagel, with egg, bacon, or sausage, and spicy mayo, a classic lox bagel with salmon, and cream cheese spreads. Prices range from $7 to $16, and a dozen bagels cost around $18. There are also vegan options, something Taylor made sure to include since he's vegan himself. Sage has a creative idea for a pretzel bagel, though there's no timeline yet. Beyond bagels, the shop also sells coffee, cookies, and other treats. They're focused on serving locals first, making it easy to grab a sandwich and go. Running two businesses and raising two kids is a big adjustment for Sydney, but she's excited about the future. Quote, it's been fun. We've seen lots of new faces and lots of old faces. Finding the right number of bagels to bake each day is still a challenge, but they're figuring it out. Sage, now co-owner at just 22, said it's been a wild ride, but she's loving it. The community response has been amazing, and it's motivating them to keep going. Next, we're moving on to a story that shook Waterville, the conviction of Aluli Talilo for the 2018 murder of his wife, Peggy Talilo. This week, he was sentenced to nearly 27 years in prison. Judge Brian Huber accepted the recommendation of Prosecutor Gordon Edgar handing down the maximum sentence allowed for first-degree murder, 30 years. Edgar described Peggy's injuries as horrific and gruesome. Peggy was found dead on July 25, 2018, in the trailer she shared with Louie in Rock Island. Her employer reported her missing, leading officers to welfare check and the grim discovery. Talilo was arrested that day. Just a day before, Peggy called 911 to report that her husband had made veiled threats. Later, she went to SAGE, an abuse survivor support agency, to file a protection order. Unfortunately, she was told to return the next day, a day that never came. Talilo claimed self-defense, but the jury disagreed, finding him guilty on September 20th. During sentencing, Peggy's family members spoke of their pain and memories of her. Her child, Henry Knoyer, told Tolilo, quote, You shouldn't ever be allowed to come out into society. You need to take your last breath in prison. Peggy's stepsister, Laura Watkins, called her loving and compassionate. She added, quote, Louis, you robbed us of all of our time with Peggy. I pray you are denied any chance to harm another person. Louis Tolilo Jr. spoke of forgiveness, but also accountability. Quote, I can forgive you, but I need you to take accountability. 
Talilo Sr. spent six years in jail before the trial, refusing a plea deal. He said, quote, If you commit the crime, you do the time. I'm okay with doing the time. He also claimed he still loves and misses Peggy. Talilo has filed an appeal with the State Court of Appeals Division 3. Thanks for listening. For more information on all the stories you heard today, visit us at WenatcheeWorld.com. The Wenatchee World has been engaging, informing, and inspiring North Central Washington communities since 1905. We encourage you to subscribe today to keep your heart and mind connected to what matters most in North Central Washington. Thank you for starting your morning with us, and don't forget to tune in again on Saturday. Saturday.